your boy Gary with the Southern Fan TV. Uh, back in the car, another video. I'm out here in DC, so you catch me looking around. That's what's going on. There's a lot of cars, a lot of people around. It's packed out here today. But uh, anyway, I wanted to bring a topic about the Ravens some more, the entertainment side, man. Just just got announced yesterday that the 2000 legendary Baltimore Ravens uh, team has been selected for a 30 for 30 documentary on ESPN. And we know these 30 for 30 documentaries are super entertaining, uh, really detailed, really fascinating. Give the fans an inside look about what's going on. So let, let's let's talk about that team real quick, man. We're talking about Jamal Lewis in the backfield. I believe rookie Jamal Lewis in the backfield. Travis Taylor, he was kind of a bust. He was a rookie at that time. He played all right that season. Uh, let's go with some of the legends, man. Jonathan Ogden. Come on. Then the real stars of the show, the defense. Sarah Gusa, Michael McCray, Peter Bolwer, Jamie Sharper, Ray Lewis, Dwayne Starks, Christian McAllister, and Rod Woodson, man. Like, the names that was on this team is crazy, especially on defense. And then they did it with uh, Trent Delfer at quarterback, uh, who didn't even start the whole season. I believe Tony Banks started the season. So even even more crazy, man. During that season, I was like five, so I don't remember the season like that. But my first Super Bowl memory, not sorry, Super Bowl, sorry, my first really memory as a, as a sports fan is that Super Bowl. We had everybody at the house. They was playing who let the dogs out. My mom and my aunts and my cousins, they all was watching Ray Lewis's intro. We was all then downstairs. The fellas was down there chilling. My dad was playing music. And it was just a good time, man. And then, you know, we ended up spanking the Giants. So that was just a great time, great fun environment. That's like really like my first football sports memory uh, tied to the Baltimore Ravens, man. So I remember that Super Bowl like vividly. Uh, so that team went went twelve and four, second in the old AFC Central, and they only scored twenty one points a game that year. But couldn't nobody score on them, so it didn't matter. Uh, I believe this defense allowed the fewest points in NFL history. Uh, so these guys were legends, man. So one of the greatest defenses of all time, led by one of the greatest players of all time in Ray Lewis. Um, and it was kind of the, the the start of like that winning tradition in Baltimore. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, Ray was only formed in 96 and ended up winning in 2000. So it wasn't a lot of history to build on at that point. But to come as a franchise and, and win in your fourth, fifth season as a as an organization, incredible. So shout out to, you know, Ozzie Newsom for drafting those guys and, you know, teams put around them. And then with Brian Billick as well, right? You got to get crucial credit for uh, Brian Billick. Brian Billick came from Minnesota, um, I believe, as the officer coordinator. Had Randy Moss, Chris Carter. I think Randall, Randall Cunningham was a quarterback. That's the kind of stuff he came from, where it was like he was an offensive guy. He was able to take the Ravens to the next level offensively. And during his entire tenure, pretty much, the Ravens were known for their defense. So it was just, it's just, that's an interesting kind of way to go. Um, they, they're going to go to apply a lot of different plot lines and storylines. You know, they're going to talk about Ray Lewis. They might talk about Ray Lewis' incident. They're going to talk about Brian Billick and probably what I just said about his coaching story. They're going to get some backstory probably by some guys, um, you know, maybe Peter Bowyer, maybe a Michael McCray who had a, uh, at the end of retiring early, you know. So they might go into different details about the guy, or they could just focus on that season. I'm interested to see how it plays out because the 30 for 30 is really dive in deep. They're really detailed, and they're fun stories to, to watch. And to have a story about your team, I'm super excited about that. So um, I don't know when it's dropping. It just got announced yesterday, but I, I think it's just in the works right now. So, and maybe it's probably gonna be months, maybe even a year before it even come out. We'll see. But they, they announced it, uh, Baltimore Ravens, 2000, 30 for 30, coming out uh, about the historic defense, great season, and eventual Super Bowl champions, man. Uh, so y'all can catch it definitely on ESPN, and uh, I'm gonna be watching it. When it come out, I'm probably gonna do a reaction to it. So anyway, it's your boy Gary with another Fan TV. I'm out. Y'all have a good day.